okay so here we'll be seeing the uh, strap muscles the contents of the muscular triangle see uh, the strap muscles are easy to remember if you see there are three structures okay so this is the sternum here okay sternum you have and then this is the thyroid cartilage you have here and then third thing is hyoid bone here okay so these muscles they are just connection between these three structures okay you join these two first you join these two second and then join one with here so and th th there is one more which is attached to the coracoid process you have to join the hyoid bone and this so these are simply this is how the muscles are there okay i you will understand once i show it to you so what will be this this is thyroid cartilage i told you this is hyoid bone this will be thyrohyoid muscle okay now if you join the sternum with the thyroid cartilage it will form what sternothyroid muscle okay if you join this thing to hyoid bone what will it form sternohyoid muscle okay omoid this thing coracoid process and the hyoid bone if they get joined it is called omohyoid muscle okay so it's simple I'll, I'll show you the, how the muscles are located there okay so this is what this is the sternothyroid muscle this will be thyrohyoid muscle okay the third thing would be this is the omohyoid thing then this is sternohyoid muscle okay so this is how the muscles strap muscles are there okay i think you can easily now uh, do this okay so we'll dissect once again if you want okay so i'm dissecting this is the i'm removing the platysma of this side and this is this and now i'll be removing the sternohyoid okay i'll be removing omohyoid then sternothyroid and thyrohyoid it's that simple what is this thyrohyoid what is this sternothyroid this one omohyoid this one sternohyoid so this is all about the uh, strap muscles these strap muscles are important because while doing the tracheostomy you have to go between these muscles and put the retractors down there and then you have to retract these muscles apart so that you can see the trachea below and uh, then you can do the tracheostomy there okay so helps you to understand the things okay so i'll be doing the tracheostomy digital tracheostomy for you so this is the these are the strap muscles you have here okay in this model suppose you have come down the skin and you have also removed the uh, deep cervical fascia from this area and this is how you will see the muscles now now you have all you have to do is you have to retract these muscles apart rather uh, retracting is not possible here so uh, what i'll be doing is i'll remove these muscles so i'll remove these muscles now what you see after retracting these muscles is the trachea down there and then thyroid uh, you have got thyroid gland over there okay sometimes inferior thyroid uh, when comes in, in in middle of you you can either retract it you can either retract it away or what you can do is you can ligate it here okay so we usually uh, try to ligate these vessels so that they should not bleed in post-operatively if the tracheostomy somehow ruptures it so uh, once you have done this uh, you need to do that you have to put a cricoid hook here and retract the, this thing up okay retract the whole thing up and pull it su superiorly you will find the trachea near near the skin then and you have to also retract the thyroid gland superiorly after that what you do is jogs flap okay so so this is how this flap looks 
you reflect a flap from the trachea and suture it uh, on the skin this suture you remove after two days after removing the tracheostomy tube uh, this flap forms the platform for you to put the tracheostomy tube and uh, it's very easy to change the tracheostomy tube uh, till this uh, platform is intact so we keep this suture uh, we call this safety suture and we keep this until we remove the tracheostomy tube and uh, like for one or two days after tracheostomy tube removal when there is no need for tracheostomy we remove this suture and the stomach closes by itself it's a inverted u shape flapped here and we open up this thing down and what we do is suppose if you open up it comes somewhere here you suture this flap with this skin there and that forms the platform through which you can put the tracheostomy inside okay so here will be your tracheostomy stoma after you have raised the flap your stoma will be somewhere here okay and your flap here forms the platform through which you can slide your tracheostomy tube inside like that okay so that's it that's it for the and the muscular triangle and its uh, clinical applications thank you